Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. Another big exciting day in my kitchen. Where are we going? What are we making? I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go somewhere to the Italian Riviera. And today what we're doing is we're having some fun. We're making a cocktail. This is a delicious, refreshing, with a kick, uh, Italiano cocktail. And what's the name of it, guys? Italian 75 or Setanta Cinque in Italiano. Now, where does the drink come from? It comes from World War I. And in World War I, they had this gun. It was a 75 millimeter gun that just kicked out shells. And the drink reportedly has so much kick, it mirrors the 75 millimeter gun. I don't know, what do you say we try it out? I've tried it out before. It definitely has a kick to it. There's no doubt about it. All right, let's start going over ingredients. Let's start having some fun. First and foremost, you gotta have some Italian playing. I got Frank Sinatra playing, Swinging with Lovers, I think 1952, great, great album. All right, number two, you're gonna need some gin. So in this case, we're gonna want a dry gin. We're gonna use a Bombay dry gin today, and we're gonna use two parts or two ounces of gin. Next, you're gonna need some Prosecco. I love Prosecco, I love Prosecco. I have Prosecco all the time in Italy. I have it for, I say breakfast, maybe, but lunch for sure, certainly dinner, aperitif before dinner, everything goes good with Prosecco. So today we got some Rufino uh, Prosecco. Now this is refrigerated, ideally around 34 degrees would be the ideal temperature. You're gonna need simple syrup. Now I made this one myself, you can get it right at the store, the liquor store. It's basically one to one sugar to water. So in this case, I took a couple of cups of water, I took a couple of cups of sugar, put it in a pan, heat it up, dissolved it, and it gives you simple syrup. So we're gonna want one ounce of simple syrup. This is a lemony drink, guys, you're gonna need some lemon. So what I've got here is really, you're just gonna need one lemon. You're gonna need one ounce of lemon juice, and then I'm gonna use as a decorative finish, I'm gonna use a little bit of the peel to put in the glass. Now listen guys, this is a summer drink, so we want it cold with lemon and that Prosecco that's cold, and it's gonna hit your tongue and it's gonna be really refreshing, it's gonna be delicious. So you're gonna use some ice. Now it's traditionally strained, you can pour it over ice if you want. Now very importante, we're gonna talk about bicchieri, the glass, okay? Now the glass, traditionally this drink was served in a fluted glass, kind of like a champagne glass which is great. Um, you'll also see it served in a martini glass, which is fine. I prefer a rocks glass. This is just perfect for me. And nowadays you'll see it served either in a rocks glass or, or in a martini glass, depending on where you are, whether you're in New York City or you're on the Italian Riviera. Oh, so gorgeous. Next is olive oil. Now listen, olive oil does not go with this drink. But anybody new to our channel, I own a farm, uh, an olive grove in Italy. It's in Puglia, Italy, right above the heel. We co-op with a group of farms. We make some of the best truly authentic Italian extra virgin olive oil you're ever gonna have. I know you're thinking, oh my gosh, Joe, that sounds fantastic. Where do I go? How do I get it? The name of the company is Vito and Joe, and I named the company after my two sons. So you can go right to my webpage, Cooking Italian with Joe, or my Facebook or Instagram, and just click buy it now. You can grab a few bottles. We'll drop ship it right to your front doorstep. I think of it as taking a trip to Italy right in a bottle. Okay, what do you say we start making some cocktails? enjoying a beautiful summer day and spending some time with our family. First thing guys, I want my lemon juice. I'm gonna go ahead and take my lemon and cut the lemon right in half. I only want an ounce of lemon juice and on my mixer here, I've got one ounce right there. I find it's usually the juice of half of a lemon. Next, I've got my simple syrup. I'm gonna use one ounce of my simple syrup. I've got my dry gin, two ounces of dry gin. Now I'm gonna take my shaker, fill it up with some ice and now I'm gonna pour my gin my simple syrup and my lemon juice right over the ice. I let it set for about three to five seconds and then give it a shake, a good shake for about 10 to 15 seconds. Feel like Tom Cruise in cocktail, kinda. That might have been a big stretch. And I'm gonna go ahead and strain it right over my glass. Beautiful. Now traditionally, if I make a drink here for the fam, I would have had this open already, but I didn't. Right out of the fridge, about 34 degrees. Couple of tips here to make this come out good. Just hold on to that cork. Don't aim it at anybody when you're gonna open it up, okay? Unless you don't like them, then absolutely aim it right to their eyeball. Couple other things that make this come out fantastic is when you subscribe to the channel, the red button right down there, click it, notification bell, give me a thumbs up, help share our videos with other people. And I'll tell you what, when you subscribe to the channel, what it does is it enters you into our club. It enters you into our familia, if you know what I mean. And it really means the world to me when you subscribe to the channel. And we'd love to have you part of the family here. Secondly, olive oil, you probably already ordered it. It's probably already being shipped to your house. All right, fantastic. What do you say? Let's open this puppy up. Oh, baby. That's what I'm talking about. 
Party time! And then we're gonna fill this right up to the top. Oh, that's perfect. Now we wanna put a nice garnish in there, so I take one of my cheese slicers, and I give that a nice slide right across, that's beautiful. And then I'm gonna take that and give it a nice twist. What I like to do is just give it a nice wipe across the rim here, and you just put it right in there. Oh, that's beautiful, look at that. I've got my lemon slice in there, I'm gonna give it a nice little stir. Doesn't that look gorgeous right there, guys? Wish I could give it to you right now. Mmm, you know the aroma of that is summer. That's what it is. It's Italian and summer, and I love lemon. It's so crisp and it cleans that palate. So good before dessert, after dessert, before dinner, sitting there for lunch with your friends. Oh, I'll tell you, the aroma right there is just lemon. It just immediately hits you with lemon and that aroma of the, uh, of the Prosecco. It gives you the aroma of sunshine in the Italian Riviera, or the Amalfi Coast, or Sicily, or Puglia, actually, not bad. All right, let's go for it. Oh, oh, oh. that is fantastic. Mm. That syrup with the lemon gives you a little bit of a lemonade, and then the gin, you can barely taste it. You get just a little bit of that kick from the gin on the back end of it, and then the Prosecco just gives you that texture, the bubbly, it makes it kind of fun. I can understand why that drink right there is equal to a 75 millimeter shell round from World War I, no doubt about it. Boy, how delicious is that? Mmm. I'm gonna be direct with you guys now. I'm gonna share a secret with you. That right there is truly one of my favorite drinks. I've always loved gin, and I usually go to a gin and tonic, and then I was in Italy uh, a number of years ago, and somebody said, hey, you should have the Italian 75, and I was like, geez, I don't even know what you're talking about. I never had it before, and you add that lemon with that sugar, with the Prosecco, which I love, to the gin. Oh, man, that is good. I love a Negroni. I'm not gonna say I don't love a Negroni. I wouldn't say no to the Negroni or the Americano. I wouldn't say no to that one either. But I'll tell you what, right here on a nice hot summer day, mm, that is good. Hey guys, thanks so much for joining me on a trip to Italy today, right here in my kitchen for an absolutely delicious Italiano 75. Remember, hit the subscribe, give me a thumbs up, hit that notification bell, help share our channel with other people. Also, grab yourself a bottle of Vito and Joe's Extra Virgin Italian Olive Oil on our website or Facebook page. And last but not least, guys, and I'll tell you, one of the main reasons that we do our videos, once a month, a couple times a month, get around the table with your family, your friends, tell stories, share and celebrate your heritage, and I'll tell you what's even more important, set some traditions for you and your family. They're gonna last you a lifetime. I know they did for me. Hey guys, from my kitchen to yours, until next week, mwah, buon appetito, or chin dine, or salute, something like that.